country is exciting and fun. And if you know the language, it's even better. Maybe you've read a couple books or you've looked up a couple words in a dictionary and you think you've got the hang of it. If you haven't studied the books or you haven't tried to learn the language or maybe your friend who speaks Hungarian isn't going with you, you've got a backup plan though. What you're gonna do if you haven't studied is you're just gonna speak louder and slower. Where is the airport? Because that always works. Fly. Fly. A lot of you are going to end up looking like really big douchebags. Planes. Big. And it's at that point you start making Americans look a little bit worse than we are. I'm here to show you some really essential phrases and how to survive in a foreign country if you don't know jack about the language. These phrases aren't necessarily going to help you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa or the cathedral in Rome, but they'll help you fit in with the foreigners. And that's all you really need when you're visiting. If you're in Italy, I know you're tempted to ask, where's the pasta and can I get some pizza? But really, there's only one thing you need to say between mouthfuls. Fai cibo fantastico. You also might want to throw in, più favore. If you're in France, there's only one thing you need to really know. Je ne suis pas américain, je suis canadien. When it comes to Spanish, things get a little dicey, considering you could be in any part of the world. Spain, Mexico, Cuba. If you're in Spain, this phrase will save your life. Si los toros que viene. For those of you moving south of the border, there's completely new phrases to learn. One essential phrase might just be, Si estas gafas de sorrilamente cien pesos. And when you're in China, this phrase is going to save your life. Na bufen jujiga don wuda. When you're in a foreign country, you kind of want to look like the cute, lost little foreigner. Now I know you're tempted to crack open a book and figure out how to get directions, but let's both face it. When you hear those directions, it's probably going to sound a little something like this. Yeah, not helping. Now if you ever find yourself in Germany, there's really only one phrase you need to know. And in Russia, you really can't go wrong with this phrase. And when you're in Japan, I mean, let's face it, there's kind of only one reason you came there. Shite kudasai anata no atarashi computa ni tsurete ite. It doesn't have to be correct. Heck, it doesn't even have to sound right. All they have to know is that you're trying.